Good evening. Um, day four. Still consistent. Still pretty excited about it. Um, today was a crazy, crazy, lazy day. Yesterday beat me up big time. Um, so I'm in my bedroom and I'm really excited. Um, because we get the bed put back in, we get the floors put back in. Or, well, so, mm, we did the floors. Uh, it took 12 hours to do the floors. And there was the cleaning of all the dust and everything from the the laminate and then a pergo. Uh, we got the bed put back in. We got the bathroom cleaned up and we cut everything up. So it was like, it was 12 hours. Um, that 12 hours was really hard on me. And I had a lot of had a lot of thoughts as far as the the limitations that I'm experiencing now um, and that's now that's not tomorrow um, it was a big eye-opener to me um, as far as what I used to could do and then what I physically did yesterday um, I don't like it at all. Um, this is spooky, by the way. Um, I used to could lift a Buick. I'm not kidding you. Um, I've always been a refrigerator with a head, a body style. I was a, a block with a head and tough as nails. And menopause hit and body changes hit and... I guess, well, there's a lot more effort involved to maintain when your body goes through different changes. It's not that it can't be done, um, but it's that you have to be willing to put in the effort. So where it used to be effortless to maintain um, a muscle mass, it's so much work so much work um, so I w got really like hit in the face with that yesterday uh, up and down you know on and off the floor and up and down the stairs like 75,000 trips up and down the stairs um, you know crawling around on my hands and knees um, used to was not ever I'm not 48 anymore let's just put it that way I'm not uh, I would love to be a uh, big daddy. He's 11 years younger than me. Um, so he's still, he's still pretty spry. He's pretty, he's still young whippersnapper. Um, and, uh, but it was a big realization as far as like, is this the person that I want to age into? Uh, do I want to be the powerhouse that I was? Do I want to maintain that? Um, do I want to... Do I want to age and make acceptances of limitations that come with that? Do I want to fight it every day? Like, all these things. Like, just crazy thoughts. Crazy thoughts, you know? Um, like, those... I don't even know where they come from, what you have to do to get them, but like used to, it was like two bricks. Uh, anytime I would get a massage, everybody would say, my God, you carry all your stress in your shoulders because these are rocks. Now they're marshmallows. Maybe I'm less stressful. Don't know. Um, but just funny things and not funny things went through, went through my mind. Um... don't want to wear belly shirts and short shorts. I'm not 20. I'm not talking about that. Um, I don't want collagen injections in my lips and my forehead. Um, I don't want a tummy tuck. I don't want a boob lift. You know, this is my roadmap. This is 
This is what I am now because of where I come from then. I'm proud of this. Oh my God, this is my life story. Right there, whatever page I'm on today, this is what I am. And I'm proud of that. I made it to today. Proud of that. Um, but a little bit of backstory. It makes me think about my mom and how my mom would be like, you know, well, you know, I'm just a girl. I can't do that. Don't lift that. Your uterus will drop. Uh, girls can't be that strong. Uh, and then it turned into, well, I'm just old. Uh, it's like, it's just like she always quit. Um, so I thank my mom every day because she quit. Um, I chose not to. So, I don't want to be, jeez, oh, Pete, I don't want to be 35 again. No. Uh, I remember what it was to be that then. Uh, and I like what I am now. Um, but the, I, I miss the strength. So I can have the strength. Uh... And it's just given me like a newfound motivation um, to think twice about what I'm doing, how sedimentary I am, um, to make an extra effort. I think that's what it is, to make an extra effort. Um, so it was kind of an enlightening moment for me in that aspect. Um, so my purple... I probably did great, uh, but I forgot about it, and I left it in for like four hours. I've never had that color purple in my hair, so the stuff, it's called Jams, and I get it from Sally's. Um, just leave it in all day. <laughs> That's how you do that. Uh, we'll see how long it stays in. I'm kind of curious, um, but so uh, today was a wicked sore. Uh, with pet sitting, it was really difficult to walk dogs. I'm not gonna lie, my hamstrings feel like they're like this tall. Like I don't even know why my hamstrings are so affected, but they are. Um, so like this morning was was coffee and a movie. I never watch movies. I did this morning. Uh, this afternoon was pet sitting, and then. We took a big old load of stuff to the dump, and that was very gratification, grat very gratifying um, to do that, because it's just more purging and more stuff that's going on in the house right now and in our lives. Um, the this evening uh, we went out and we got wings and beers, and we we sat and we solved the world's problems, and we talked about so many things and it was so much fun and I blew my diet so blew my diet uh, I don't care they don't care I write everything down um, so every day I write down uh, what I eat um, and any motivational quotes any inspirations that come I write it down so when I do sit down to make a video I got a little bit of a guideline um, and so I'm not even going to divulge today. I've got it here, but I'm just not going to divulge it. Um, when this 365 is done, I'm going to take a picture of each page out of my book and do like a time lapse so you can just see, I don't know, my brain farts and things. Um, it's just part of the project and I think it's going to be fun. Um, so when I get done pet sitting tonight, um, I've got one more stop to make. There's going to be a lot of beers on the front porch and a lot more problem solving and goal setting and relationship solidifying and date night. Just every once in a while we've been together, I mean we've been, we've been together 19 years and married 18 of those and it's good to stop and get to know each other again. People change. People grow. I want to make sure that I grow with him. He is my best friend. Um, not to take that away from many other people in my life who I absolutely adore. But he's my bottom line. Definitely. Um, and there's a whole lot of backstory on that too that we may get into one day. But 
Um, so, but today is kind of, it's kind of neat, kind of because of last night, um, you know, eye opening. Um, I don't know the word that I want to use, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, but I gave more thought into how maybe I should structure these videos so they're actually, you know, got some meat to them, I guess, for lack of better words. Uh, i got a lot going on this week, and I'll drag you guys with me through that. Um, I'm dropping off art for a show this weekend. Uh, art Abandonment is on Friday, Black Friday. Uh, look it up on um, Facebook. Um, Scott Wong's Art Abandonment. It should be Art Abandonment 4 or 5 this year. Um, basically, handmade items dropped in your city with a note that says, take it, it's free. Um, it's to support local artists, handmade, uh, small business, uh, fighting the establishment as far as mass marketing, um, things like that. It's fun. It's fun. And with me, there's also... Um, I crochet and so every year uh, I do a big bundle of scarves and hats and I take them downtown Raleigh where a lot of the homeless people hang out the one park downtown and I hang them in the trees and I just I just get back so that way I know everybody's got at least a hat and a scarf um, so it's a, it's a big deal for me and for my heart and for nobody else I'm not doing it to to impress or anything I just it's for my heart and it does me good um, so it's it's a little thing sometimes of giving back um and that's what i do um so that's going on this week and um, i'll drag you through that crazy pet setting this week crazy pet setting um and then another thing that that we talked about over dinner and it made a lot of sense to both of us um i do work part-time and i'm not going to do that anymore i'm going to support myself fully with my pet sitting and I am very very excited about that there's a lot of pressure that comes with it there's a lot of hey buddy there's a lot of um, mm, it's like it's a big jump it really is a big jump um, there's a big security blanket in my job there's my buddy right there um, because I rescue uh, and because I fail at rescuing and I bring them home, uh, I have five dogs and two cats. They are very well taken care of. Um, and I, where I work affords me um, to do a lot of it at a discount. Um, but we did a budget, and for what we have, I can't add any more, as a matter of fact. But for what I have, they will have very, very healthy lives, probably healthier than ours. Um, because they come first in our life. We're ridiculous about our dogs and cats. They do come first. Um, but my pet sitting is ridiculous. Um, as far as the amount of work that I have and what it affords us as an extra income. And I'm going to do it. Spend more time, spend more time with my pets because I won't have to work at another job and walk my dogs as opposed to walking everybody else's dogs work on my art um allow myself to do shows uh with my art and things so forth it'll just i'm i'm ready for a total life change i'm already on the spiritual the spiritual journey um so i'm gonna step out on that spiritual journey take the strides that i need to take to do what I need to do. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of great conversation. So we're gonna continue that later uh, when I get done. Ow, 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 me. Goofy. Um, my computer screen is my light again this evening. So anyway, um, I've prattled on for for long enough. So video four. Yay! Um, no update on my food. Boo. Um, but it's okay. I'm not mad about that. Not mad at, I, I'm not a failure because I didn't achieve my goals today. I am not a failure. 
because my goals are only guidelines to live by. They are not the end all be all of my day because I am not limited. So uh, always remember to be peaceful and be kind. It's important. Talk to you tomorrow.